just back there. Let me grab my coffee though. Um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm drinking Starbucks today and I know I wasn't drinking Starbucks for a really long time. But I realized they have my drink that I was wanting. And then now it's just all downhill. So, okay. I'm high. I'm, I'm firing up my Rakomi heat press today for crafting for Valentine's Day. Um, I went back and forth. I got to figure out where in the studio this will work better to go live so that I can utilize more than just this thing. Because he's over here and I wanted to do... A few different crafts with you guys but I was like well it's either the heat press or nothing because right now he's he's over here so good morning um I know I wasn't live last week if you guys are new here you're just joining you've never seen my Monday live show um I'm live every Monday at 10 a.m pst to hang out with my community and craft but also to catch up talk about what's new um all the fun things so if you're watching the replay welcome Join me live next week. Um, I am kicking around, possibly moving it a couple hours later, but I've been at this time for so long that it's like in a rhythm, but it's just, it's kind of iffy with the schedule I have going out. Um, video looks amazing. Thank you. I'm just using my phone today. I like had so much, not anxiety over the fact that we couldn't get a stream going, but just like, it was just so dumb. I'm like, it's so techy. So um, right now I'm heating this up to 320 for 15 seconds because we're going to use heat transfer vinyl today. And then I also brought a couple things that I made to show off um, some other ideas for Valentine's Day. And I realized a lot of these are like decor, not necessarily gifts or anything. Because um, what I'm doing for gifts this year is I'm doing jars and I'm putting chocolate covered strawberries in them. Hey, Steph. Um... Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Doriette. I'm not sure if I said that right. Um, but while this is heating up, I have happy mail. Do, 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 do. Yes, later is even better at 1 p.m. in Florida. It's sometimes hard to stay on an entire live. Yeah, so if I, if I did move Monday show, it would be like noon my time. Noon PST, like an afternoon show. Um, I don't know what that would do for you guys. I don't know what it would do for me. I, it's like two hours later. So I don't know. I don't know. Hey, they're from Pennsylvania. I mean, I know it's like so hard because I'm super early. Like I'm early compared to you guys. So I'm always like, oh, but it's early. I don't know. I feel special. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay. So this is from Jenna Sorrow and... She is a business member, so if you're a business member of mine on antitay.com, you can send me your product to review on a live, and I will also um, get it in my hand so that I can see it and see what you make, and then it really helps me figure out how I can help you best as a business owner. Um, I've had many of you guys do that. I don't know what this is, but I think I'm going to be freaking excited about it. So let's see. I'm going to get rid of that because that's our shipping labels. Um, I want to put that on there because it's, I see a, I see a Mickey ear tag. Um, okay. I'm going to read this one cause it looks like, uh, it's a meb. Um, oh wait, it's two. Um, thank you for all you do. I've been a business member for about a year now and have learned a lot from you and your team. Please enjoy the enclosed gifts from my shop. Jenna Sario included our, the take me with you craft bag. I'm so excited. Um, it's one of my own patterns. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the ZID badge ID holder, my first published pattern. The, so do you sell patterns? This is cool. Okay. The purse pal pattern by Lynn's handmade. Finally, uh, for the pups, a couple of personalized over-the-collar bandanas from my trendsetter line, my own pattern, and your graphics. These are the large size bandanas. Okay, I'm going to have to order some more things from you because I literally have been, had it on my... You probably were like, I'm going to send this girl some bandanas because it is always on my DIY list to make the dogs bandanas, and I just never get around to making them the way I want them, so I'm so excited to try yours. Um, the trendsetter logo is my English setters actual silhouette uh i started sewing when i was eight 
when my three daughters were in high school, I started making and said, well, wait, <laughs> period. When she was eight, next, next phase of life. When my three daughters were in high school, I was like, how does that work? When my three daughters were in high school, I started making and selling purses and bags. I did several successful home parties, but see that it, that makes my heart so happy because she was doing home parties with her own handmade products. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say her shop name when I open this because it has more of her branding and I don't want to say it wrong. Um, Jenna Savio and, and I'm gonna, it's G E N N A S A V I O. If you want to type that out stuff, and then I will make sure that you guys have the, all the deets on this. Um, okay. This, this girl's going places. This is hot. <laughs> I wish I could close it, but it'll just pop open. Uh, to make that many, uh, sorry, where were we? Home parties. But with only me, it was hard to make that many custom bags at once. So I scaled back to the occasional craft show and word of mouth. I do have an Etsy shop and I'm working on a new independent website. Thanks to you, I have set goals that I'm able to achieve to grow my business. All the best, Jennifer. So in our business membership, basically what we want you to do is build your business and then we're gonna help you refine anything that you need to fix and make better with um, by seeing your product in hand. But I feel like this girl's got it down. So I'm super excited to see all of this stuff. Okay, let's start with this. This is the Take With Me Craft Caddy. I... I'm so excited because I can already see the, I'm, I'm so excited because now I, this is huge too. Look at this. So I take a craft home every weekend from the studio to do at home. This is going to be my bag that I do that in. It has, oh wow. It's like super sturdy. Look at the little, look at the, look at, these are little butterflies and look at this one. It's Mickey ears. So cute so cute um i'm gonna get you guys her handle soon too so that you guys can shop her and follow her and you guys can bet i'm gonna be talking about her all the time look at look at this big old pouch and it has these pockets on the sides okay and it has the handles but then it also has the um over the shoulder clasp that you can put a thingy on a, a um what are those called what are those called? Handles, straps. You can put a strap on it. Um, that is so cute. I cannot wait. I literally was just like, I need to grab a better bag for taking projects home because right now I'm doing them in these, like literally, I'm not, not lying. This is my bin that I've ended up like just putting stuff in and carrying around. But I'm like, a bag would be probably easier because I could shove more things in it. But this is perfect. I'm excited. And it's literally called the take with me craft bag so super cute has a little pocket on the outside and then she probably lines the inside so everything's all professional super cute well that's a party i would go to okay then we've got so she her sticker looks like this etsy.com slash hop slash jenna savio can you guys see it don't be blurry here let me take it out of the plastic Come on, Tay, get your life together. Okay, I want you guys to see it. Jenna Savio. So I'm guessing that's shop, not hop. So Etsy.com slash shop slash Jen Savio. G-E-N-N-S-A-V-I-O. First critique I have is make sure you fix that sticker, girl, that it says shop. So... I like to look at all this stuff. I like to see your guys' branding. I like to see if you guys are sending your deets in your packaging because you guys need to tell the people where they can come back to when they buy from you. So cute. Look at this cute little pouch. And it has the card holder. Oh, and it says Jenna Savio on it. You see that? You see that? And a little bling. There's a little bling. This is embroidered. I think this is the design she was talking about that we offer, I think. But this is embroidered. So not only does she sew, but she embroiders. And then has the ID pocket. That's so cute. And then the inside pocket, which is faux leather. I love that. Super cute. Right, Lauren? That is so cute. Guys, you guys are the most creative 
Okay, this one has the doggy on it. So I'm really excited. I love that she has lines. I love that she's like, this is from my animal line. This is from this line. If you ever have a hard time like creating your business to like be cohesive, but you have a lot of different things, make a line. It, it feels so cool to have a line. And um, so you can be like, that's my animal line. That's my home line. That's my whatever line. So I can't wait to see these. So cute. So it says a hunter and it goes over the bib. Look, it has a little, oh, it's reversible. This is our design. So I woof you to the moon and back. So as a business member, you can also create things with our designs on them and sell them. So I love that she's taking her handmade element that she sews and then putting it on there. So she's got hunter on this side and then I woof you to the moon and back on this side. So cute. I love that. Okay, and then I'm wondering what this one is. Yep. So this one, I love the little sticker. I love that. Save her stickers. I also save, oh, I dropped you guys. Hold on. Um, I also save all of your guys' branding stuff and put it on like in my office so I can remember you guys' businesses and check in on you guys. So make sure you're sending your business cards, your family photo, like anything that's gonna help me remember who you are so that I stay on top of keeping up on your business. So Ollie, and this one says, stay positive. So that one is also one of our designs. And then she put his name on there. And she did, she did, I'm guessing the orange and black is because we love the giants. So super cute. I love that. Okay, this is another one from her non-animal line. So let's see what this is. This is one of my favorite packages I've ever gotten. I love this. Okay, hold on, hold on. She does a really great job packaging everything safely with her branding on it. I'm looking for that business card though. So my one thing I'd say is business card or something with like a incentive to come back to your website. I know that, so I encourage you guys to send it to me the way you would send to your customers so I can actually see what you're doing and how you're presenting yourself to a customer when you get a order. So I would say, but this one, as I'm speaking, so this is the lanyard badge, super cute, has Minnie Mouse on it and then her name. So as I was saying, here's her card. It's in the pocket. So I love that. So custom made or uh, custom bags, accessories, and home goods. Okay, so I love this because her card, you may have ordered this, but you may not realize she does like home goods and stuff. So custom bags, accessories, and home goods. Then her Etsy store is on here. Um, her email is on here. Yes, so this one has the correct Etsy store. So etsy.com slash shop slash Jenna Savio. G-E-N-N-E. No, G-E-N-N-A-S-A-V-I-O. Super, super cute. Love that. So check her out if you want a custom-made bag. Um, cannot wait to work with her. Literally can't wait. So once you once I see your products and I'm like, okay, you are, you're ready. Let's go. I'm going to do whatever I can in my power to make sure people know who you are and you're putting your stamp on the DIY world. That was some happy mail, guys. I'm obsessed with that. Okay, we are at 327. I just needed 320. Okay, so we are for the first time going to use my big bad boy for heat transfer vinyl. Did you guys see me get this? I did a little review video on it um, for white toner printing, which is right here. And he's not the cutest from the side to be in the back of the video, but my whole studio is a hot mess. <laughs> So, got to get that cleaned up. But it's real life. I wanted to share my favorite Valentine's thing I made. And um, this video will go up. It's a, it's just a mug press review for the 5-in-1 mug press. But this is Stephanie's design. Stephanie, did you design all of this? Did you design both? I love these, regardless. So, here's the mugs, Jim, Deer, and Darling. But that's not it. That's not my favorite part. My favorite part is the other side. And they drink the spaghetti. They eat the spaghetti when you put them together. So these are a part of the, yes. So these are Stephanie's design. These are a part of 
Lady and the Tramp bundle. So in the bundle, you get those two designs and those two designs. I had to make this mug. I was so bummed when my Cricut mug press was, was done working because I had these ready to go. And then I was like, okay, I'm just going to pull out the five in one and do it. So thank you guys for telling me the time setting that I needed to do for that. But um, I was able to make these too. And so that's a fun Valentine's mug. I love how they turned out too. And I pulled them into Canva and changed the colors. So I also have a video on that if you haven't seen it. Um, I pulled in like a bunch of our SVGs into Canva and just changed the colors to be the colors I wanted them to sublimate. Because I think these are black SVGs when you, if you were to just like screenshot and print them. So I know I'm obsessed with them. Okay. We have pillows. I don't know if this heat press can do pillows, but we have um, these guys. And also I was worried about tacking with this because you can't clamp it down unless you're, cause you know how you tack HTV? I'll show you those. Uh, hey Tiff. Um, so I'm gonna do two at a time and I'm gonna tack because these are double layered. We'll do the glitter last because that can handle it. So I'm gonna attempt tacking with this without closing, clamping it down because otherwise it'll stay clamped for 15 seconds. And I haven't learned how to open it if you don't want it to stay closed. I'm sure there's something on there, but we'll see. Okay, so these are little pot holders and I'm gonna just line up all the layers I want, but then I'm gonna tack. So ooh, let's see. So I don't wanna clamp it all the way. I just wanna, tack it and I typically will only do this for a second but because I'm not putting tons of pressure oh no it worked great so then you just tack for a couple seconds pull it off put your next layer on and then we will need to protect oh you know what I'm gonna use their parchment paper because Veracoma sent me a hundred uh 25 and that was a lot I don't know how many they sent me but they sent me a lot I actually turned down the pressure a little bit because this is HTV this isn't like sublimation or anything. So 15 seconds and that's set as the timer, touch screen timer if you guys, I did a whole review on this thing. White toner printer series goes up, I think at the end of this week I scheduled it. So HTV, HTV takes 15 seconds, which is so much fun. Okay, hot peel, our HTV and our glitter HTV. And then we've got two cute pot holders. Love you more. Love you. You can hang those. Use them. I got these probably at the Target dollar spot. Some of these things I've had for over a year and I'm ready. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm taking this project home and I'm cutting all the things for it. So now I'm going to make a, you know what? I wonder if I should do, we'll just do it one at a time. We don't want to get crazy. So this is just a towel. I'm going to do it. I was going to do it so that you fold it when you hang it up, but let's be honest. My family's going to use this towel, and then I'm going to be like, hey, that's the decorative towel. And I'm going to be like, forget you, mom, and forget you, wife. We use any towel that's in our presence, and then I'm going to hang it properly, and then I'm going to come back, and it's going to be unhung properly, and then the battle begins. So I'm just going to do it like that, and people will probably hang it like that. But let's be honest. They won't even hang it. They'll just throw it on the counter and then on the floor. And then all places. <laughs> is that the heat press on your Amazon store? No. So this one is actually, uh, Rakoma sent me this. Hold on. Um, Rakoma sent me this with their, it comes with the white toner printer, but you can also buy it by itself. Um, but this is the bad boy I'll be using from now on because he's real professional. So I'm, you, I use the PS I love you in gold glitter. You see that? And now he's a little cuter. It's kind of hard to read that one but it's still really cute. So in real life, you can definitely see it. You can see it, it's glittery. So when it catches the light, you can definitely see that there's something cute on there. And again, I'm using all member designs. So these are all on the website. If you guys wanna make anything with these this week for love week. Hi from South Carolina, hi. Um, also new stuff came out, but I did not send my newsletter this morning. I will send one out today though. Um, it's Disney Parks Week for files, and we have a bunch of Disney files, but also Jess made some twos 
day uh, for 2.22. So if you have a kid going to school and needs a 2.22, 22 whatever that is, um, we have that available to you guys. And then also we released some more Valentine's Day stuff that Blue Sparrow Handmade made. So Blue Sparrow Handmade made for you guys. Okay, so let's tack. I like to tack my glitters first. I didn't do it on the first one, but because glitter is so durable, glitter HTV is so durable, it can handle the heat so I don't have to protect it as much. Okay, we need a little more pressure than that to tack it. I wish there was like a tack button. Nope, nope, nope. That wasn't enough tacking. Probably heating the towel first would be helpful. Jess's. And then what else did I release? So there's a bunch of Disney Parks SVGs that I'm also going to be creating sublimation for soon too. So, so that was actually whole 15 seconds. So I should have just put the pressure down and waited. <laughs> Let's just do it. Impatient crafters. That needs to be a video or a, a TV show. Garbage is getting taken out. Woohoo! I might have to turn my pressure up some more. It sometimes the material you're putting your stuff on too can be finicky. So this towel is a little bit more like a can't I can't really pinpoint like what the I almost like going directly on top of the glitter afterwards too because it will really help it. It's probably better cold cold pill on cold peel, honestly. So there's a lot of factors to think about when you're layering different types of HTV. In these moments, time stood still. How does this line up? Look at that. Okay. So this is another design that says, in these moments, time stood still. Super cute. Um, so I have a old new drink that I found at Starbucks um, and it's not clean and I probably shouldn't drink it, but it's cold brew with Two pumps sugar-free vanilla. Yeah, this um, this towel or whatever this is, is I'm going to let it cool because I'm going to do a cold peel on that and see how that turns out. And I've got a couple more of that same type of material. So we're making two that say hello there, good morning, handsome, and hello there, beautiful. I love that design. I've made it like on everything. So... I could do both towels at once and just lay them on the edge. Let's do that since we're layering. And then I'm gonna do, good morning, handsome. Hello there, beautiful. So I drove across four states in the, this weekend, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, California. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd be back in time for this live, and I was, and so I'm here with you guys. I'm here. Okay, I'm going to fold it like this, and let's see. Okay, I'm going to get that. There's, like, a ridge on it that has all the, like, fluffies. How are you guys doing? What are you guys working on? Have you guys done, if you got your mystery box, which is still available if anybody needs one, um... Have you guys created it yet? I am saving mine for our live get together. Okay, so now there's these ridges here too. So I'm gonna pop that over. Okay, we're going to press the red HTV. Sorry for the repeat just got on. Tay, where do you get those towels? I got all of these towels at the Target dollar spot. Two of them are from a year ago and two of them are from this year. Because even though I have a like, a stash that I need to go through that I've gotten at the dollar spot. I don't want to miss the stuff they come out with every year. So I'm like, you know what? One day I'm going to actually craft with all that stuff and I'm going to be in a flow and I'm going to have all my Valentine stuff fresh in my mind and I'm going to want to make all of it. Okay, I'm going to put these aside for cold peel before I put the other layer on them. I don't know why these towels are being so annoying unless I just need to turn my pressure up a little more. Okay, you're gonna dry up there. Do you guys see those boxes right there? 
I created those with patterned vinyl and product boxes from like things that I've purchased before. So they will be featured in a patterned vinyl video soon. Okay, I need your guys' help with this one. Um, so I cut out our love, love, love pattern. The one that designed, that has it. So technically this, the way this is supposed to go is, I don't know what that is from. The way that this is supposed to go is love on top, another love here, and then there's another love below it. But when I cut this out, I was like, I just want to put love on the shirt. But there's three options here that I was like, okay, I like all of these. And let, maybe I'll do the back of it too, but I like all of these options. So the first option is love, just in gold, like this, okay? Gold glitter love. This is our first option. Second option is white outline love, which I to you guys, it doesn't look that cute, but it's so cute. It reminds me of Victoria's Secret pink, but it says love, like super cute. Or, which I just put these like this because I stored them like this. I was like, that's super cute too, but we're technically not supposed to layer HTV on top of glitter HTV. So I feel like this is cute too, but it's a no-no in the craft world, even though it's really cute. Or I do both and I do one on the back, one on the front for cute photo purposes so I can get pictures of both. What do you guys think? Glitter with white outline. It's not an option. I shouldn't have even told you guys. I should not have even said it. Unless I were to like offset it, the only way we could do it would be to do this one first and then this one second and do it kind of like an offset like that. That would be the only way because you are not supposed to layer, at least on this glitter HTV, you're not supposed to layer on top of it. This is like the scratchy glitter. So white, I like the white outline. Um, bummer, next time slice the, well, it's just because I used this specific design, I could definitely slice it out of white. Um, yes, it's the only way. So this would be the other, the third way, an offset white. So white, gold, offset white, Yes, <laughs> the answers are yes, yes, yes. Okay, but yes to what? So white, gold, offset, offset. I see two offsets. If I get to five of one, I will choose that one. I see two, offset. I do like the offset. I like the gold, offset, offset, do white first. Okay, got it. Offset wins, so no design on the back. Okay, let's see. Offset is cute. It still gives you that texture, but also, I don't know why I'm not pulling this out. Duh. That's the whole point of having the pull out. Okay. So I'm also going to turn my pressure down or up, I guess you would say. Turn my pressure up, turn my pressure up. Okay, offset is gonna look like this. Let me make sure I like it. Yeah, that's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. Okay. So that's where my white is going to go. We're going to put it for 15 seconds. I feel like if I could cancel this, the pressure is high enough that I could tack it. Tacking does need pressure. That's the thing. It's like if I'm manually tacking for one second, I don't know. Thanks, Jeffrey. We already chose offset. So see when your pressure's higher on this thing, it pops open. So I want to find a shorter table, but a sturdy shorter table for this because this is a little too high for me, my short little arms. Um, so you guys didn't know, I'm very short, by the way. I tell that to people and they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah, I'm super short, so. Also my E, I'm gonna offset this way because then it won't be obvious that my E was just a little too short on the mat when I was cutting. Okay, moment of truth. What glitter HTV is that that won't, that won't, what glitter, sorry, what glitter HTV is it that it won't layer on? Just the standard glitter heat transfer vinyl doesn't layer. You can layer on top of sparkle and twinkle. 
because Sparkle and Twinkle are like under the clear coat of the glitter. This is like sitting on top of the clear coat, but this one's definitely sparklier and has a more like craft glitter type look to it. Like I love this glitter HTV, but Sparkle and Twinkle have probably a less glitter, but then one of those, and I'm still trying to remember which one is which, has more of like a, it's almost like reflective with glitter in it. So it has this cool, like a reflective look to it. So I think I'm gonna do a lot of Halloween stuff with Twinkle. I think it's Twinkle. Anybody know, anybody know and use it all the time? It's like, I know the difference. We need to make a, like a mnemonic device to remember the difference. So there we have it. Super cute. This is gonna be my hoodie for the rest of the love week. I love love week. So, okay. So we still need to layer those and attempt the pillows. I'm worried about the pillows. Um, okay, this was, I was waiting for cold peel. Man, these, let's try with some more pressure because these little, whatever these are, whatever this is made out of, it's like linen. It like reminds me of like bedding it is just not wanting to have HTV on it. So I turned up my pressure. Let's see if that helps. And make sure those seams, if you can, as much as possible are not under the press. Sparkle and twinkle can be layered. Glitter HTV is not supposed to be layered, but you can do it. Right, the problem is we have a hard time remembering the difference between sparkle and glitter. Nope, sparkle and twinkle. Thank you for answering, Tay. I thought I layered it before, but maybe it was, you, you, I have done it. I've done it. I just, it's not recommended. So like if you make something for somebody and you're selling it, it's not recommended because it could come apart. These I also made too, but I don't have my little heat press out and I was gonna paint them first. I got these at the Target dollar spot for a dollar like a year ago, but Mr. and Mrs. I cut those already. So I'm gonna actually chalk paint them first though. Maybe I'll spray paint them gold. That would be cute. I got gold spray paint. It was sold out everywhere. We had to like, I had to look high and low for gold spray paint. Okay, let's see if this these two are cold peeling yet. Um, yeah, okay, so this is working with cold peel, but it's still like being finicky. So cold peel, it's, I'll show you a close up of what this towel, like the texture of the towel is. Mm. It's got a lot of ridges. Come on, come on, one more, one more. There we go. So the towel, I don't know if you can see the texture of it. See that? It has like ridges in it so the HTV kind of sits on top of those ridges it kind of doesn't like to budge so where are my there they are it's hello there beautiful good morning handsome the Teflon might help too because one of the things I learned about Teflon is it's not just to protect it's also to distribute heat evenly so this heat press comes with comes with all these Teflon sheets, which I love. So, okay, let's see if we can get this one off. So what did we make? We made pot holders, we made um, towels, we made a hoodie or crew neck, and I'll show you the apron that we made a year ago that you guys can also make with our designs. I did bring another apron, but I don't have anything cut for it right now. And like I said in the beginning of this video, my heat press is nowhere near any of my other machines. Otherwise I would have fired up my cutting machines and that. Okay, let's see if this will, okay, the glitter's peeling perfect. I think the Teflon sheet actually really helped to distribute that heat. So, and I turned up the pressure. So this one says, hello, beautiful. Hello there, beautiful. And you can hang it next to the good morning handsome one. Let's do that after we make it. And then, oh, well, we also made mugs, even though we didn't really make them together, but sublimation mugs, that's a really easy DIY for anybody you love. 
um, I should do mugs instead of jars, but I have so many jars because I've been doing methodology and every meal comes in a jar. So I'm going to use the jars for Valentine's Day to put treats in and go deliver to people. Let's see if this is peeling. Oh, that one's peeling a little bit. In these moments, times, I'm gonna repress this one too just to give it a good just to give it a little more oomph because it's being finicky that's the word of the day is finicky okay so you put them next to each other this one says good morning handsome hello there beautiful so super cute super cute and let me repress well i'm gonna get this off it's like being super dumb there we go. Okay. So the S is like just not really hanging on there, but I am, I was planning to repress it anyways. So I'm going to do that and then that'll be good. Something you can do with towels too is create dog bibs out of them. I, they had them at the Target spot this time around that had dog paws on them. So I was like, I'm just going to turn those into dog bibs. Like, my dog needs a bib. My big dog needs a bib. Oh, we still gotta do the pillows. I've never done a pillow and a press and I took my Cricut, um, my little mini easy press home. So I thought I had two easy mini easy presses though. So I gotta figure out that. In these moments, time stood still. So we have that design as well. This one is super cute on a lot of things. Like I put it on a wood box on the bottom corner one time. So that, and so is the PS I love you one. That one's cute. Okay, let's make the pillows and then we will do a rundown. Oh, I'm afraid for this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you can press a pillow in a heat press, but we're going to try it. Good to hear. Thanks for the info. Tay, you said you did a video on the change colors of SVG and Canva. Where do I find it? I don't see on YouTube. Um, it is on YouTube. It's, um, it's gonna be under all my videos, but you can search my videos and search Canva. Just put the word Canva in there and see what happens because I've only done a few videos on Canva, so it should pop up. It's called like how to print sublimation with our SVGs using Canva. Okay, so we're gonna do one layer at a time. I'm also, so many factors, I'm using um, metallic HTV for this. I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna clamp it obviously because there's not room, <laughs> but I need to get it like on the thing. Okay, let's see if we can. Nope, nope, that's gonna slide. I gotta hold this and go like this. I gotta hold it. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life right now. Use your easy press for pillows. No, it looks great. Oh my gosh, it looks great. That was way easy. Okay, in these moments, I'm gonna flip the pillow and give it a little another press so that it hits that side of the pillow as well. Does that make sense? These were also in the Target dollar spot and I should not have bought them because I have way too many pillows, but I did, so. Questions, comments, concerns, transfers? How was your guys' weekend? Where'd everybody go? Look at how messy my craft room, my, my studio is. Alex is getting better as well. Thankfully, he has never put on a ventilator. Yes, uh, thank you for updating on that. Um, prayers for Melody Lane. Uh, they are recovering from, well, they are in the process of fighting COVID. So uh, Melody is on a ventilator and needs prayers, but her numbers are looking good. Um, her son's numbers are looking good as well. So they are, if you guys don't know who Melody Lane is, she's another cricket expert on the internet. And um, she's been on the internet. She was one of, she's like the OG cricketer. So prayers for her. Pretty busy. I mostly just made beanies and then broke my knitting machine. Oh no, you broke it. So Ashley from Chip Builds is here. She is making a hundred beanies for the homeless. Um, and she just broke her knitting press. So somebody sent her a new one. Our weekend was the icy, snowy mess, says Sarah. 
Terrific, got crafting done and tired out a new, tried out a new winery. Will you be coming out with more sublimation files? Absolutely. Sending my prayers to her and her son. Yes, keep them in your prayers. It is just, it is just all fresh right now with, we've, yeah. So I have been praying fervently for them. Look at how cute this is because it's no joke guys when somebody's on a ventilator it's just like you guys need to be praying like we need to lift these people up in prayer it's not it's not good so super cute this one oh this is also that same svg so obviously i love this svg a lot because i put it on quite a bit great news um did beverly update something will you be coming uh terrific got crafting done and try to oh terrific yeah okay um, so cute. Finish my craft room while iced in. Yeah, are you guys crafting like crazy because you guys are all snowed and iced in? So I went to Colorado to bring my niece home and um, we debated how to drive home because we've never done that. And um, we were debating going south like through New Mexico because we didn't want to go through the Colorado Rockies in her little car. So we were like, let's go up Wyoming, which we found out later is like the wind death trap. But I think if we were to have gone south, it's like pure ice. So I think we made the right choice going that way. But got to stop in Salt Lake, see my nephew. Like it was a good weekend. Got to see the beautiful snowy mountains. Like it was just what my soul needed to be refreshed and like just be like one with nature on a long car ride. So it was really awesome. Um, happily got a stand for my new multi-needle embroidery machine and was forced to purge some stuff from the craft room. You got a 10 needle, my Lisa? That's awesome. I need to learn how to use my 10 needle. You drove right by me. Yeah, I probably drove by a lot of people, but we were just like, we need to get home. I want to go back home to my Monday live show. So, um... That's how much I love you guys. We were going to extend it, but I was like, you know what? Let's just get it done with. And the weather was amazing. Okay, so Metallic HTV is hot peel. And I'm not going to, I'm going to say it's probably one of my favorites so far. Because it's cute, it's classy, and it's easy to work with. <laughs> is that not what we love in life? Cute, classy, and easy to work with. Okay, the little T needs some help. Together is my favorite place to be. Did I flip that pillow and do it the other way too? I said I was going to do that, but I can't really remember if I did it or not. So this design is also available in Love and Valentine's Day. So Love and Valentine's Day page looks very similar, but Love has more stuff that tailors to like... Valentine's Day has more stuff that tailors to Valentine's Day, I would say. Like not everything is in Love that's in Valentine's Day. And then anything that's new is on our What's New page right now. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm going to say Metallic HTV is... Ugh, I ruined it! Okay, we're going to fix you. We got this. If you were an I, that would have been a lot easier to fix. But I, like, stretched the little T out. I spoke too soon, but he's... I think, I thought I caught, cut enough to do four, like two on each side because I wanted more pictures of our SVGs on projects. I'm going to flip it this way. Okay, this one got a little funky. It says, together is my favorite place, IOB. Okay, anybody who lives in Wyoming, is it was it in Wyoming or not, not Nevada? Wyoming. How do you say the town Camurra? Camurra. Camurra. I don't know. We saw Little America. That was exciting. <laughs> There's a lot of things in Wyoming. We were like, okay, should we ever come back to Wyoming? Maybe, maybe. But it's definitely an interesting state to drive through. But we also only drove through on the 80. So I don't know if like, there's probably more stuff if you leave the 80. Nevada is getting pretty developed too. Like I haven't driven through Nevada in a long while. And that was kind of cool to see like housing developments and stuff. Okay, I ruined this one. So when you do your cold peel on this, don't do that. I broke it. But look how pretty that is. And that's the metallic HTV. It does the shine. 
But you guys saw how easy it was to work with. Just, just be gentle, you know? Okay, so what did we make today? We made, we unboxed the cutest box of goodies. We made multiple Valentine's towels. That one says, P.S. I love you. This one says, in these moments, time stood still. We also used a bunch of different materials. So this is neon pink glitter HTV, red HTV, gold glitter HTV. We used metallic HTV in two different colors. Not sure the actual names of these. That's what I need to challenge myself to do this year is learn all of Caesar's colors and all of Caesar's textures. We made a love hoodie to wear all week for love week. We made another pillow that says in these moments time stood still with metallic heat transfer vinyl. So if you're a member, you get 20% off or 30% off all of our Caesar HTV and vinyl and all the things. I also have a huge announcement this week. So you'll see me on YouTube, a huge announcement, which I'm so excited. And we just learned that it's an even bigger announcement than we thought because there's some really exciting things about it. This I made a while ago, but it says chocolate is my Valentine. And while I'm making my chocolate covered strawberries, I'm gonna be wearing this so that I can remember to wear it while I'm making my chocolate covered strawberries. We made pot holders that says love you, love you more. And we did not make these, but I made them and you guys can make them if you have a sublimation mug creator thing and you have sublimation mugs, but it says Jim Deere and Darling, and they eat spaghetti when they go together like that. And we made two more of these. All my other Valentine's projects are little painting projects and vinyl projects. So if I pop on, I have been kind of vlogging it just in case, because I was like, maybe I'll put a vlog up of all the projects I made, but I might just go live and show you guys all of them at the end of the week. So there's that. And that's what we made today. And it was super fun. And we unboxed this amazing bag by, let's, uh, let me get her business card. Oh, great. Where did I put it? I put it back in her little thingy move on. Yeah. By one of my business members, Jenna Sabio. And you can go to etsy.com slash sop slash Jenna Savio to find all of her handmade items and or patterns. I need to go look to see if she sells patterns because that would be really cool. Just bought a whole bunch of pot holders from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, so get crafting, guys. So our membership paired with dollar store stuff, paired with Target stuff, paired with whatever you are good to go for anything you need to make for teachers, loved ones, nieces and nephews, kids, who else? Husbands. Honestly, let's be honest. Our friends, like I like making things for my friends and my kids more than I do Dustin for Valentine's Day because it's like, oh, thanks. I got a pink glittery something. <laughs> Cute crafts today. Thank you. So guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be loading this thing up with next week's Monday video and I'm going to prep it at home all week. So if you guys watched one of my vlogs while I was sick. I decided I'm going to start crafting from home a lot more. So I'm bringing a lot of the stuff home and putting it in our kitchen, which the kitchen will be debuted in a lot of videos soon. So there's a lot coming with our kitchen. So you're gonna wanna watch. But I created a craft storage under our kitchen cabinets with Ikea ki kitchen cabinets and love your totes, thanks. I love my tote too. Um, but I think I'm gonna just like, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I have a craft with me. It's my weekend craft bag. Oh, I also, oh, I'm creating these really cool printables that I have to finish, but it'll be super cute for this. Can't wait for announcements. Oh, the announcement this week is a big one. It's a doozy. I'm so excited. You guys are gonna be so excited. You guys are gonna be so happy. You guys are gonna be excited. <laughs> but yeah, yep, yep. I, I just thought about it again. Yep, you're gonna be so excited. So. I love you guys. Um, love your cabinets. Thank you. Thank you. I do love those cabinets too. Um, I love that I'm going minimal this year because who needs kitchen supplies when you've got craft stuff you need to put in your kitchen? So, um, okay. I need to go and film some videos today. 
uh, and a fun announcement video. So that'll be out in a couple days. So look for it. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you guys next Monday. Thank you for hanging out. Like always, I will keep you updated if this, the time changes on this. I mentioned it in the beginning of the video. Not sure if anybody's here from the beginning of the video, but I said I may possibly move, be moving my live show to noon PST on Mondays, give or take. I'm still committed to this time for a while, but give or take, okay? So just keep that in mind. Let me know if that will work for you. If it does, uh, we'll see. Okay, also the shirt I'm wearing today, the Come On Barbie Let's Go Party, is available to our members as well under other characters. And I'm using, I used patterned heat transfer vinyl and holographic heat transfer vinyl, holographic pearl, which is my favorite. They're all my favorites. <laughs> Will the magical mock-ups video be posted soon? Like how to use the magical mock-ups? Yes, we're actually, we have a magical mock-up shoot next week to bring you guys some more. So yes, we will definitely be sharing how to use those because we've got some amazing magical mock-ups coming to you guys soon. So you might see some cute influencers, kids in them and all the fun things too. So I'm excited. I'm excited to bring you guys more magical mock-ups. Okay, I love you guys. When I actually craft, we don't even spend the whole hour together. So that's crazy. But next week we will be making, um, I'm not even sure what we'll be making next week. Next week is Valentine's Day, huh? Would it be weird to craft more Valentine's stuff on Valentine's Day or should we move on? Like, are we done on the actual day of Valentine's Day? How does that work? How does it look for you guys? I don't know. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next Monday. You guys let me know in the comments because I will read those. Bye.